Lacey here. I signed up for a mini album swap, which is silly because it's summer and I don't have time for this. <laughs> Plus, my father-in-law has been in the hospital for over a week. And another excuse on why I don't have it done is because I'm a procrastinator and I wait to the last minute. So this mini album swap is supposed to be a simple mini album swap and it has to have six pages. So six pages, 12 both sides and that can also include the cover and also it's supposed to have tags and pull outs and flips and fun stuff like that so it took me a while to figure out what kind of album I'm going to make and then I came to the conclusion that I'm going to make a little flip mini album with um, envelopes so what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere my envelopes together and I wasn't going to do a little tutorial but I thought I might get questions after so I'll just show this part so what I did was I took my envelopes and I took the flap is supposed to go this way I'm putting it backwards and I'm going to tape the three sides of this part here and then attach it to the front of the envelope so let me just share with you that I should have taped this ahead of time and I I'm not really liking my new glue I really want my white um, glue back because this doesn't seem to be it's sticky yes but it's um I can't explain it it seems very uh, like it pulls apart really easily so enough of my complaining now when I put these together, I just want them really nice and um, perfectly aligned. So I'm just going to put these together here. And my head might get in the way because I'm trying to make sure it's nice and even. And as you can see, this is what I mean. I don't know if you can see that. But there's like tape sticking out. Whereas my other liner, it, it worked so nicely. The tape stayed where it wanted to be. But this is easy enough to pull apart if I get a mess. Mind you, I'm going to have paper. I'm going to have paper here, so that little bit of stickiness isn't going to be an issue. And then for my last page, this will be at the very like it's binding this whole thing together because, as you can see, there's a little bit of gaps in there. So what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to put it on. I'm going to score it. So this will be the binding here. I'm going to score it and then attach this part here and it will hold it all in here like a book. So let me do that. So what I did was here is the fold of the card right here and then I scored it and I only left half an inch because I don't think that that's very thick and if they add pictures or my embellishments I think half an inch should be good. So I scored it there and now I'm going to butt this part up to my half an inch mark and then fold it over. And I just see there's a glue there. There we go. So I just butt it up to my score line and then just fold the last flap on. And get the leftover glue out. Mind you, I am going to have some there and then this part here I am going to adhere on this other fold so let me add this is the first envelope I started with because I folded it back on itself so then we just add some adhesive and I'm just winging this actually <laughs> I've never made one of these so let's see how it turns out I like to wing wing my art so here is where the first this is the first, or this is actually the last envelope, the one that I scored. And then this fold line here, this is where you were supposed to close it if you were going to use it as an envelope. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on that fold mark and then flatten it out. Let me see how this will work best for me to do it. Okay, so that's the first envelope. We keep that straight. Okay, that's how I'll do it. So I'm going to put that there and put that on the score. Put that on where you would normally fold the envelope and flatten it out. And there we go. That's the bases of my envelope. 
see there's the binding there so there's the binding and then there are those envelopes that I put together in between there and now I'm just going to cover it with papers and get the glue gucks off and we will see how it turns out. I am just winging it. I have never made one of these before. I don't even know if that's the proper way to actually make the binding, but that's how I'm doing it. So we'll see how that goes.